Hello everyone, my name is Ocean and this month Fiend and I will be working together to bring you a Songs of Six series. The two of us will be taking turns on the same save with 5 years each turn. I start and when my 5 years is done, I hand the save over to Fiend who then plays his 5 years and vice versa. For this first time we're playing as humans gridded and cooperatively. We're thinking of a quick series, so maybe 30 years total, which is like 3 episodes each, just to test the waters. Let's see how far we can go. Yeah, so I'll be picking humans here. Confirm, and yeah, we've got to go with all of the stuff. We're going to be picking the best titles so that I can get us as far as we can in this first 5 years. Now we've got to go with 69% northern, as always, random, yep. Okay, my god is telling me to go here, and honestly, it's a cool spot anyway, so... It's just out of these three here. Let's go with the one with the more forest. Okay. Well, let's regenerate that. You don't want the capital to be too close. At least, I, that's, my, that's my thought around it. And it looks like... This thing is destined. Yep. These guys are destined to just be a thorn in our side, so we may as well. May as well keep it. I bet you it's not that these three will not have a long life. As soon as Fiend gets his turn, he's going to take all of these. I'm calling it now. I'm not sure what the rules are. I don't think I don't think he'll watch this video, so he gets surprised at um, the map and all that. Hopefully, we'll see. Maybe I'll message him and make sure he doesn't watch it. Now this is pretty weird. These roads are... S what the? Okay. Oh, look at this mountain. That is pretty cool, actually. So it looks like there's this weird as mountain pass. Up in the north, and then in the east, northeast, there's... Another mountain road. And this is like the only road that's not going straight through a mountain so okay if we think about it like this if we came from any of these three roads how the hell did we make it on the other side when this is deep water unless we came from this side of the mountain no 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 let's say we dropped here there's a nice little corner here there we go we are humans and there's one thing that humans really like and that is, wait, hold on. They're good at studying uni. Okay. Well, they really like labs. So what I should do is with this first five years, maybe I should just make like as many labs as I can do. And then Fiend is going to look at this and be like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll make sure that we don't starve to death. But outside of that, I'm going to make as many labs as I can in, the, in these first five years. Yeah. First of all, we should rename this to the, I don't know, specific faction, I guess. Ah, uh, what's a good... Oh, the co... the co lab. Co lab. You know what I mean? Like, cooperative laboratory? Oh my. Slash fiend. There we go. It's uh, me first because I have to go first. But yeah, you can change this if you want to, my dude. Either of this. I feel like this is a great name for it. And then the flag also. You know what? I'll leave the flag to you. I feel like you can draw a way better flag than I can. So this is the settlement of CoLab run by Ocean Fiend. <laughs> Ocean Fiend, Fiend Man. Yeah, there we go. Craft ton of grain and livestock. And rations. Now, everyone knows that I like to make grids first, but last time I did that, the last time I tried to cover the whole map with grids, I messed it up. So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to organically grow the grids. Now, if you just threw up a little, um, I don't blame you. <laughs> so I've been talking with Fiend for a while, and it turns out he likes to just 
make his cities as he goes, like, pretty organically or something. Doesn't have blueprints like I do, from what I gathered, unless I completely misunderstood what he was talking about. I'll just do one square at a time, and then he can do whatever he wants for the other squares. Yeah, I think this is probably a better way to do it. In this way, I don't take up like half the episode just building the grid. Oh, I already messed it up. What is this? Oh, I didn't see this little... What the... What? What is this? Five people living in it. That's just sad, dude. Okay. What? It's like a cave with like five people. Alright, so they're like stone housing. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. Oh, okay. 277. Alright, we can afford that. And then amenities. Like a hearth. Yeah. That'll be important. And... Where is it? There we go. A well. There, well, here, and a speaker, there and there. Oh wow, there's like no fertility here, what? That's crazy. Anyway, anyway that doesn't really matter, we need to make a pasture regardless. So what do they like? They like meat and eggs. So I don't think that they can... What can they, yeah. They're actually not that good. So they're just average at taming these guys, but yeah, that's okay. 20 meat a day. Should it be by the river? Maybe. Fish. That's quite a lot of some decent fishing spots. By this river, but do they eat fish? Do they like fish? They don't like fish, so we're gonna Focus on just the stuff that makes them happy. So we need to grow grain. We need to grow bread ASAP. They're gonna give me some stuff. Who are you? My friend, you know what? Please accept it. Yeah, sure. To your lands. Okay. Stay amicable with them. Obviously, I can't talk for my alter ego. <laughs> is that is that how we're gonna pretend we're gonna be like? Or I don't know. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Imagine getting like isekai. Do you, you guys know what that is? Like, imagine getting sent to a um, medieval kingdom, and then you have like. You just have an alter ego that just wants to kill everybody or something. Not that fiends like that. I don't know. <laughs> Is that slander? Uh, I hope he never sees this video. I mean, he definitely will, but... <laughs> I'm sure he'll just find it funny or something. It's all in jest, except, yep. Ruler of Sarlosa. Yep. Neighborhood. Okay, well, that guy is a bit... Sarlowinish is like... Yeah, much more of a cooler guy than that other dude, so... If you are watching this fiend, then make sure you, um... You leave the, uh... You leave the first person that, uh, talked to us for, uh, last. He seemed pretty cool. Right, anyway... I'm getting sidetracked. We need to build this. Soon as possible. And the farms, the farms, the farms. Drain. There we go. I may as well make them as wide as possible. Now, I like to not ruin the. Yeah, the water side anymore. I used to just not care, but actually does look a lot better like this. So I'll just be cleaning that up real quick. Doing it as fast as I humanly can. 
64% fertility, it's fine. Get rid of the edges. And then we're going to build fencing. So that the peasants don't step on... Yeah, the wrong places. Trying to make that out of grand stone, dude. No way. Make it out of wood. They don't need to be there that often. It just needs to exist, so... Best one, they give us trade. Wow. You are good friends. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. You're cool guys. Now over here, I'm not sure what we'll put. Probably... Let's put a small bakery down, yeah. Why not? You know what, you two? Yeah, sure. Russian Fiend. That's a sick name, actually, when you think about it. Ocean Fiend. We will strike terror into their hearts. Has way too many people working at a food stall that has nothing in it. I can make this one wider. Yep, sorry to all the farmers that <laughs> were already working there. Whoops. Oh. Oh, crap. Alright, quickly, quickly grab the grain, please. Yep, yep, yep. Before we starve to death. That was a mistake. Let's make a... Carpenter. Day one of winter, okay. A worker strike, really? Seriously? Bro. Okay, I guess they want to starve to death. Actually, don't remove that alert, because that's actually an important thing <laughs> to watch out for. So, now that... Wait, do we have... Oh, we have import and export, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to export... These, um, livestock things. We don't need them. We don't need all of them. I would, I would say, like... Keep some of them around. Definitely don't need f 10 bakers. We don't have enough going for us right now, so... There we go. So there's when there's more than 7 livestock, which is 10% of our current... Uh, yeah, animals. We'll sell... Yeah, we'll sell them. Should get a tidy profit from that. Now, need another one of those, and I'm gonna make a an import. We'll be importing clothes. Next thing we need is a toilet. No room for a park here. I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. We don't need a park. Just yet, anyway. Can't afford it. I don't want to, like, be caught without a lab. Like, come on, bro. That's... <laughs> That's the first thing I need. Along with, it seems like we're gonna need some grain. On a regular basis. Making the toilet. And this should make everyone happy. Oh, it's stages. Oh, yeah, stages. Markets and the physician. Okay, so the market. Or the stage we'll have to make here. Just a small one. We'll be making that market, and then we're gonna need a janitor. So with the law, hold on. So law is coming up next, I think. No? Guard post is at 300, okay. So we don't have to worry about that just yet. What we need now is a janitor. Plenty of people want to show up now. Here. Should be... Seating as planned, yep. We should get... So, where are the roads? 
stone roads as soon as possible. There we go, Prontex. Got a training ground. We've unlocked a training ground and a slaver. But we need people to feed us. Yeah, it's year three, okay. So we have just over... I don't know, we have literally like two years. Just under two years left. In order to... Make this city into what I... Want it to be. Get rid of this. I want to be farming all of this. Minus the water. I don't care about making money. Otherwise I wouldn't be a uh, songs for sex YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, enough of the jokes. I am in this game. I want to... Yeah, I just want to tech rush and sustain ourselves. So I feel like we've probably sufficiently sustained ourselves and now all of our efforts should be dedicated towards making labs. Labs everywhere. Yeah, five days worth of food. It's probably fine. Let's look at how much... Okay, fish actually... Wow. Wow, okay, fish sells for quite a bit. Actually, bread as well, what the hell? So actually, we should probably... be fishing and then selling that stuff. In terms of furniture, humans only care about wood. Uh, normal furniture. Fabric. Jewelry and pottery, so that's all we need to sell. Ah, oh, plus clothes, so... What was it? It was like this. Wow, that is like... Minuscule... Wood production. What is this? 86... 18... A day. How much do we use? Oh, it's enough to offset, okay. It's perfect. Our dudes need to speed up. Just like with my upload schedule, janitors have nothing else to do. We may as well build the roads so that they that they do have something to do with their time and they're not just doll bludging. Not that we have a doll for them to bludge on, but you get the idea. Wonder how many how many of you guys know what doll bludging means? <laughs> Sure you could guess. Now they have benches. Oh, yeah, it's a big deal. Apparently to them. Roads are a big deal as well, yeah. Lighting. Okay. I, I can't stand this. I need a lab. I'm only human. And we need labs. If you look at the housing. Kind of looks like... They increase the housing. No. Oh, I miscounted. Okay, now we have enough housing for 200 people. Let them all in. It's not much forest. The forest is on the other side, actually. Should probably head over there. But first... All of the science. I've never tech rushed like this in this game before. That's why I, I always tech rush in Stellaris, but not in this game. We'll see what the effects are like. We'll improve our production of the primary resources. And that's how I'm going to spend our... Yep, that's how I'm going to spend our... Research points. I'll be playing until the end of year 5, so I will be... So I'll probably give this... Once it reaches year six to fiend. Yeah, we should get fishing so that we can sell the fish and make our stuff out of it. What a life that would be. Being a fish exporter. A smelly job. 
Makeshift weapons. How much are those in this game? 849 to buy, 673 to sell. So if we look at the costs, what does it take to make it? A warhammer. Wait, was I looking at the right thing? Right, so to make a warhammer, it's six wood, four stone. Six wood is 25 times six, which is like 150. I think so. And 17 times four. Four. Yeah, this is a bit harder. What is it, like 68? That is worth it, I think. Yeah, you're multiplying the value, but like... At least four. At least four. Okay. Yeah, that's worth it. Where, did, where the hell is it? Makeshift weapons. So we're consuming 106 wood. I'll just use the calculator. <laughs> 106 wood. 2,600. 26.45 times 247. Yeah, I'm just barely... Uh, over like doubling the value. So we should switch over to this. Yep, and... We don't have any wood. I mean, we don't have any stone mining right now, but I'm sure... I'm sure Fiend will hook us up later. We just need to make money right now. Mushrooms, I reckon. They're pretty cheap. Eggs are, cost quite a bit. Yeah, let's go with mushrooms. Let's make it, yep, even better lab. What does this need? Oh, it needs metal? Really? I could have sworn that was different. Does that fit in the center? Oh, it does! Oh, they're not ready for this. The world isn't ready. For a fight pit. Five, five. It's perfect. First try. Technology we can whip out is spoilage. That would help, yeah. Oh crap, we have a 25% chance to get raided. <laughs> I think that's kind of bad. I think it's halfway through the year now? Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna import a bit of metal and just to light up the place. And we should probably make a barracks. You know, just a thought. Where is that? Here it is. Yeah. Um, that raid chance is horrible. I don't think that's good. Bandit, edit this. How about 20 people? There we go. The other side of this fight pit. I think that's, um, yeah, there's something about that. <laughs> something profound about having a fight pit in a graveyard nearby each other. What we need is to make these torches everywhere. I usually put statues and stuff here, but why not light it up? I've gone a bit over. I hope you can forgive me. Gone pretty far, actually. And the recording is like, or like way over an hour. So, yeah, good call. <laughs> good call with the uh, timing fiend. It was a good idea, actually. Do five years each. I got pretty far. I think I'm happy with this. Just as a final note, I'm just gonna let in 39 people. You get good luck with trying to feed them. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. Alright guys, make sure to check out Fiend's channel for when his video drops. See you soon. Authorized by Ocean Man of Oceania.